Alright everybody, welcome back to another video today. We're playing some Fiora in the mid lane. We're running Conquer, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Stand, Ultimate Hunter, and Eyeball. We're going to be doing a build on her with the new Shoujin and Ravenous. They allow her to get more AD than possible before. And it's going to make her ult do so much true damage that we can get it over 100% max health true damage. So... We can overkill people, kill them in three to four hits no matter what they build. So the build path for getting the most AD is we're going to go cringe bow first because it gives 50 plus another five for every item we complete. Then I'm going to go the ravenous because that item gives the most. Then after that I'll go the new shojin because it gives 65. And then after that we'll probably do the crit items that give the most AD or anything else we could find. We're against an Akali. I don't know how this matchup will go but... I know as long as I at least get one item, I can just sustain and keep healing. Because once I have Ravenous and Shield Bow, I think I could just heal all of her damage. She doesn't have Ignite. She took TP, so it shouldn't be too hard. I don't know how it'll go, though, when she's in her W, if I somehow guess where she's at. I could maybe hit the Mark or the uh, Vital. Ooh, almost brought her into turret. She popped heal. I mean, it's probably better she used it there than in the middle of a fight because I'll ignite her. Is this a Take it, Holly Syndrome. Do it. <laughs> if she did it there, I would have flashed and dashed under turret so she'd at least take one to two shots. Okay, so now I can maybe let her land her E and then I just parry the second part of it because I think that's where all the damage comes from is when she takes it. There we go. She doesn't have any CC for me to parry. There we go. Yeah, we're definitely stronger than her. Our level 6 may not be as good as her because it's easier for her to land her ult than mine. So a little trick is if the vital isn't facing the way you want, you can back up and just reset it. I always do that when I play against Fiora, but I, I didn't realize I could just do it when I'm playing Fiora too to get a better vital. Works both ways. To the enemy and Fiora. So like this is behind her. I'm just gonna back up. Till it goes away. Now I go near her, it should face me. So free vital. This one's facing down, so we'll just back up. And then we'll come back and it should just be facing me. Oh look at that. That's OP. I might be dead. It's alright. We made it out, I think. Why is she so fast? Gotta be careful here. I'd like my parry up if I'm gonna go in. Oh. This little piggy went all the way back to base. I think I beat her too. Yeah, I have parry. Three seconds. Wait, what the? I was like, where the hell did she go? <laughs> she could have, like, recalled there, and I actually would have never saw her. What the hell? Um, I think this will push into me. Yeah, it will. So we'll just go reset here. Um, normally I would get the life steal first, but I'm just going to grab this and boot. This will help me farm. Nice, they went a little too deep. Sejuani was, like, trying to predict me running away through here. But I was just waiting to see what she'd do. Come out and die. So they have a Cassante and a Sejuani. Two tanks I can melt. Because we need to we need to hit the late game before we're like deleting tanks in one shot anyway. 
on my fine style. I think I just hold my parry for her E. I could also parry her ult, her second part of the ult. When oh, Nunu. She didn't feel like taking it. She still does a lot of damage to me. I'm pretty squishy. I don't have any defense in my runes. There we go. I do have a red buff though, so I kind of want to poke her. If I take a turret shot, she's probably going all in. Also, Sejuani's probably around. She would come from topside because I have vision down here, unless she snuck through right here. I don't think my Q will... Yeah, there's Sedge. Let's see. She has no uh, invis. Oh, I stunned... Wow. I stunned Akali while she was dashing through me with the parry. I didn't think the Sejuani Q would hit me there. That was crazy. What is that? Oh, that's a Scion R. So we have two ways we can auto reset on this turret with Fiora. I could just Q right after Auto. And then I have E also, but the E is pretty long cooldown. Oh shit. I think we're dead. Oh. I could have parried it. But I think I'd still die because then I'd have to stand still. I got two plating, so. I would say worth in my book. I think it's going to be wet noodle fight top lane soon. Although Cassante might do more damage than Cyan. Definitely not if he dies here. Oh, he actually killed him. It's a one for one. Because Cassante has some max health damage built in. Cyan doesn't. Okay, we almost have our first item. What is it going to be? It's cringe, though. Sharp blade, sharp mind. Back up, get a better vital. I thought that was Sejuani for half a second. Oh, it did hit her there. Maybe it does prioritize her. I never hold back. I think vital for turret shot is worth as long as I don't take any other damage. Oh, it hit her. Okay. I think she's terrified of us. We could take her turret already with Harold. Such unrefined style. Well, I think Sejuani's gonna gank mid again. Because I'm the only lane that's really pushed up much. But it hasn't quite worked for her. She can E me, but... I think I will... Parry... The E. I think I live. I'm a liver. What happened right there? I think Cassante is gonna... Die. Yeah. Well, with how long this guy lasted, I could have helped him. Shit. Oh, the plating, man. I'm sorry. You know how it goes. I'll block. I'll block it. I got you, bro. 
No, I thought she was going to Q. All right, punch her to death. There you go. All right, I got him a kill. That's worth it. I thought she was going to Q. She just smacked him with the W. Well, I got a lot of money. Shield bow, let's get Tiamat for auto-pushing, and I think it builds out of all swords after that. Yep. So yeah, this item gets 65 AD, and then when it's fully stacked, I think it gives another 24 AD. So quite a bit of attack damage. Heart steel. I wonder what Cassante is going. Kind of chunks. Two minutes to get the platings. We see Sejuani. Don't know where Cassante is. Dude. Gotta remember, I do still have cringe bow. I got a shield. I think if I get ganked though, I'm gonna go for Sejuani, because Akali's gonna be too hard to hit all the vitals, because she's gonna be dashing around. She did not heal me right away. I'm out of mana, but I got a mummy. I have no mana. Fuck it. We could get her. I lied. Fringe bow is not active. Oh, nice. Oh, shit. Come on. No, I didn't. If I had mana for. E I got executed. I didn't even get hit by anything. Wow. If I had mana, I could have auto reset with E and killed it. Up and top. Guess nothing. First turret's still there. I could just walk up and hit it. It has 48 HP. Probably takes two hits if the plating's still up. An ally has been slain. Twitch is one HP. It's AD Twitch. So, a lot of their damage is physical. Ooh, Infernal Dragon. I want that. Oh, no. Damn it. I shouldn't have looked. That's a good dragon, though, for me, because that would have gave me more AD, which would be more damage. I think the area of effect damage on the Tiamat and the uh, Ravenous is stronger now, too. So, like, they buff the damage of the item. Uh, I can't pick that. Oh, maybe I can. Uh, I don't know about that. The movie doesn't have ult. If he had ult, I'd go in there. There's four of them, though. Okay, she is hard steel. They all do in mid though. Such oh, I cannot help him. Oh my cannon, no. Yeah, as Fiora, I'm single target, so fighting four people at once like this is not the way you want to do it. But, they, uh, I don't know how he died, but they're losing bot turret. And I can still hold mid. I cannot fight them. If I go in, I'll die. I don't even think I'll take one with me. Even with a Mumu, I don't think we'd win the fight. I hit Twitch. Ah, shoot. I got him at least. Ooh, 
she flashed out of my... Almost. I should have ignited before I died. Eh, it wouldn't have changed anything. I think I ran out of mana at the end. I had a bad parry. Let's shoot it at Shoujin. And the Karma flashed the vital, or somebody flashed the vital that would have killed him, and then I got the long-ass Q cooldown because it didn't hit. But hey, we're making money, getting more items. I think I'll probably go Merc Treads. Just because of the CC. I don't know, I can't parry everything. I can also go Split Bot now. I don't need to stay mid versus four people. If they send four people to side lane, then we get more objectives. If they send four people mid, they can rotate a lot easier. Uh, Twitch doesn't really do that much damage against me, though. I can just run at him. He flashed last fight, so I could just all in him. Okay, he's leaving. Hold on. Can maybe 1v2 this? I would have if I had vision of him. I think they're all coming for me. If Akali's coming down here, that means there's three people down here. And you know Sajuani's gonna follow him too. Nope, she's mid. Well, while we're waiting for somebody to show bot or somewhere else on the map, we can watch this interesting fight. Sion destroyed him. Kusante made the mistake of ulting at the beginning of the fight, so he started out at like half HP. Yeah, I'll just split from here on out. Let's see, is there a red buff? So this Ravenous now stacks up every time I kill a minion. It's already got 19 stacks. I think it goes to 40. I don't remember. It used to be 50 and they changed it. So you get half a stack, I think, for minion. Well, I'll get bot turret. Maybe, I think I do bot turret, then dragon. Oh, I'm melting this thing. I don't know if I'll be able to do dragon in time, though. I don't know if I have enough mana, either. I killed him. Uh, I think Scion hit a wall. Oh, that was big. Oh, she died so fast. Quadra. Okay. Well, they kind of melted like butter there. That Karma died so fast. What are we at? 49% max health true damage if we hit all the vitals. I want blue. Okay, I have the Shoujin now too, so I have a lot of AD. But we need it at level 16 and I think this number goes up more. So I get Shoujin, maybe Bloodthirster. They do have Thorn Mail. Other items that give a lot of AD. Let me buy the Shoujin. I think I want boots. Actually, I think I'm going to get armor boots because Twitch is going to do the most damage to me. 
I could get a death stance. I don't know how much sterics gives. I don't think it gives enough because I don't have a lot of base health. But Thurster gives 55. Infinity Edge gives 70. I might go Infinity Edge even though I don't have the crit for it. But, it, I mean, it gives the most AD. So that's what I'm building it for. Plus, I can go, like, Blood Thurster after. Hello, Mr. Rat. Oh, you died very quick. Alright, let's see Sejuani's health. Unravel. Oh, I parried too late. Nice, I got the cannon. 369 AD, what is this? Oh, it's my individual heart steel cooldown. Am I even taking damage? No, I'm not. I could just keep dashing. No. Twitch, I would have had her. Okay. Let's do... Well, this doesn't build into Infinity Edge, so maybe I'll just do the Bloodthirster. Old Breaker, I think... No, it gives 50. 55 on Death Stance. But I think I'll do... I'll do Bloodthirster so it's actually useful. Bloodthirster, Infinity Edge, then I can actually use the crit from it. And then also, if it goes long enough, I could sell boots and get even more AD. Then I could go like Death Stancer. Maybe like a Ghost Blade so I don't lose out on too much speed. Gives 55 AD. We're at 62.5 max health, true damage. Need more money. I counter Cassante really hard. Because if he ults me, he loses all of his health anyway. Wait, what if I ult him and then he ults? Does it base it off his current health, which is lower, or the health he had when I first ulted him? You know, because it changes his max health. Oh, they're all coming out. Oh. oh, my ult didn't go off. I thought I ulted Karma. Must have not pressed it. I tried parrying because I wasn't expecting her to go all in there with the team to follow. And I, I thought she was going to throw an ult at me after I was first stunned. Can they kill Scion? Yes, they can. Which does a lot of damage. Well, I need to push bot here in case they win the fight and go to Baron. But they're not. They lost the fight. What does this might do? Close target. Oh. What does... Oh, he has the green one too. Well, I can get Bloodthirster. Y'all want to fight? I'm going to make him FF here if I kill them all. Oh, she didn't. Oh! I got her too. Oh, I got lucky there. I wonder if I can just keep healing off Sedge. I'm out of mana though for Qs. Oh, I have blood through. Oh my god, I don't die. No, he pulled me into the fountain. I do a lot of damage. Let's get that. We're level 16. We're at 71.5% max health true damage. The vitals do 18% max health true damage. Huh. 
Huh, maybe we need uh, a lot of infernals to get it over 100%. I mean, I could sell boots and still get a bit more idea. And I haven't finished this yet. I get 30 more here. Yeah, we could still bring it up a lot. I'm guessing we can get it to like 85%. I saw some picture on Twitter where somebody got a, it to 150%, so maybe they had all the Infernal Dragons plus like a Janna Shield? Because I'm nowhere near that with almost full build. My god, this item gives 54 haste. Infinity Edge cost me 1700. Ooh, look at all these yummy minions. Well, if I get them one by one or even like two at a time, they'll get run over. But if I fight five of them at the same time and I get stunned, I'm probably dead. Seventy-three. Went up more. Maybe it's because I stacked up my ravenous. I don't think it was at full stacks. <laughs> yeah, they do like seven hundred a hit. A clear bot. I want to at least make it to Infinity Edge, but I really want to make it to one more item after that. Because I, I want to see if I could actually get this higher. Scales off bonus AD. I should have went to that Infernal if I was alive or prioritized it. Oh, hello, Twitch. Oh, he just walked right... Oh, we didn't walk by a Moo Moo, though. Oh, he actually got out of that. Wait, we're getting fucking melted. We're getting melted. Wait, I got infinity edge. Oh, no, I don't. How much do I need? 51. Oh, I can clean up. I'll heal you, team. Oh, exhaust. Exhaust literally did nothing. I still killed Twitch, like, instantly. Alright, at least let me see the IE damage if you have... Oh, I can get Red Potion, too! I can get a lot more damage. This... 80%. Um, I could get Red Pot and probably get it up to, like, 85, maybe? No, maybe a little bit less. The thing is, I'm pretty close to that last item, too. It's just, will they FF or not? is the question. I don't think they will because the Twitch is somewhat dealing a lot of damage in fights. Just really want to make it to this last item plus Red Pot. Let's see if I could find somebody in the jungle. You get five gold for hitting the ward. No way, I didn't hit the vital. Scam. Well, see you guys later. Oh, she's not happy about that. Well, guess what? I destroy you. 800 damage. 800 damage. 800 damage. I'm too strong. Actually, I don't want to die here. I think I can buy it. I buy Anything that gives AD. This gives me speed. I think 55 is the highest item I can buy right now. Maybe Man Immune would give a little bit more if I stacked it up. 
We're at... Oh, 90. I don't think the red pot will get me at a... Uh, 100, but if we got that dragon, I'd actually be at 100% max health tree damage. That's insane. I'm so slow now, though. Is this supposed to be a challenge? Wait. Let me buy red pot. I have it. Okay, this is the max AD we're going to get here. Wait, there's Baron. I forgot. Let's do Baron. I can get 100. 96. Baron will definitely give me 100. Yes. There's always more options. I don't think there's any more I can get now, though. After Baron. Please don't steal it. Yes, we got it. 102%. Oh my god, I'm doing a thousand damage per vital on her. Oh. oh, Ghost Blade. Boom. Boom, boom. Exhaust? Give me the true damage. Bro, they die instantly. Let me hit the vital. Oh. Let me hit your vital. Boom! 800 true damage. Jeez. Well, we got to 107%. Max health damage. Oh, Conquer stacks up too. Oh, okay. There was another thing that I had in play. All right, cool. I'm glad this game made it to here. I didn't think I was going to get over 100%, but I did. Not bad. Surprised they didn't FF. I've tried this. This is like my third or fourth of a attempt. That was good, though. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And last but not least, leave a comment below. Let me know what builder champ you want to see next. Let's see our graph. It's 70k damage. How much true damage did I deal? 20, 26k. The problem was I was, like, killing them before I could deal the true damage. I was so far ahead. Like, even my Qs without landing the vitals were doing so much. But I wasn't going for maximum true damage there. If I was top lane against, like, a bunch of tanks, I could stack up more. I was just trying to get that highest percentage on there, and we did. So, yeah. Other than that, I'll see you guys later. Thank you again for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.